time in this room and I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. So let's go. I'm just going to throw something on top of this. Throw a dress or something on. Who needs a bra? No one, no one I'll know, right? <laughs> I'm just going to throw this on and put my coat on. Okay, there we go. I'm dressed. <laughs> I'm going to make a strawberry and banana smoothie before I leave. But first I have to do dishes because there are too many dishes in the sink. So before I leave, I am making a list of things that I want to put in my burrito, my ingredients. I'm also listening to The Starch Solution by, well, it's not The Starch Solution, but it's a talk by Dr. John McDougall. Um, I haven't read his book yet, but I've been watching a lot of his videos, and it's about a uh, high starch-based diet, like potatoes, rice, and things like that. Uh, one, as you guys have seen in my videos, I do eat a lot of rice compared to the typical, um, I guess, American, but it's actually not a lot compared to what people eat here in Korea <laughs> but I do gear towards rice um, for my dinners like usually when I have dinner I'll eat rice with it uh, but I also love potatoes and things like that so I think this month I'm going to read his book so maybe later today I'll download it and uh, I'll purchase it of course <laughs> for my Kindle and I'll read that since I'm being lazy <laughs> these past few days, uh, but I start work tomorrow. So let me finish this list. I'm gonna make sure I have everything on it and then we're gonna head out. But actually I have <sighs> this huge smoothie that I do need to finish first. I'm not gonna go to the store on an empty stomach, so cheers. So before I head out, I am just kind of rinsing my rice and I'm going to soak my rice because I have brown rice and it helps to soak it a bit um, that way it takes less time to cook and it is just easier even though I'm cooking it in a rice cooker it's I found that it's a lot easier when I soak it for a little bit like between 30 minutes to an hour it's a lot better it's pretty windy today actually um, there was this yellow dust here in Korea I think it's slowly going away I can still kind of see a little bit hazy but the sky is actually blue <laughs> so that's some improvement but there is usually the yellow dust uh, that comes during the springtime from China and actually a few other places but I think the yellow dust in Korea comes from China uh, or at least that's where I've been told it's come from. So I'm walking to the store. I'm trying to do more exercise. So uh, before I go to the store, I think I'm going to go to the park and do about 30 minutes of walking just so that I can get it in while I'm outside. Because if I go home and cook after I eat, I'm going to just want to stay there and be lazy. So. Let's go to the park. Before I go to the park or the bank, I'm going to go and pay my utilities bill at the bank, which they just leave a little thing on my door and I just go to the ATM and transfer money to the account. And also, here are some potatoes that I'm going to buy when I come out. Yay! Only 2,000 won. Each one won for a few potatoes. Here's my bank. For those wondering, um, if you don't speak Korean and you're worried about the bank and the ATM, there is this button here, global, and you have different languages that you can change it to, which is cool. So if you're worried about Korean, just choose the English option, and there you go. 안녕하세요. 감자 주세요. 네. 
a lot of you are probably curious how much I spend per month on food. So I decided that this month I'm going to set aside money and only spend that money on food and see how much I end up spending in the month. I'm not going to attempt to change my spending on food. I just want to record how much it costs just on average for my month this month. So that'll be interesting. So comment below if you think that'll be a good idea because I know a lot of you see that I eat a lot of fruit and a lot of food so we'll see how much I spend because I don't really keep track okay bad news guys that's the store that I usually go to near my house but I pretty sh I'm pretty sure it, it's closed <laughs> like 100% sure I forgot that it's a holiday weekend I think in Korea and a lot of the stores are well, not a lot of the stores, but a lot of the big stores are closed. And in my town, uh, on I think every t every other Sunday, the store, or every Sunday, I think every other Sunday, um, some of the big stores are closed, which is interesting. So I'm going to go on my walk to one of the other stores and see if they're open, but I'm pretty sure they're closed because of the holidays, so that sucks. So this is the park that I would be walking at, but what I'm going to do is just go see if the other store is open, which will take me about the same amount of time, maybe 10 more minutes than I had planned on walking, um, just to make sure that they're not open. I'm pretty sure they're closed, but this is my park that I walk at, and as you can see there are people doing their exercise. Yeah, so So this is one of those time of the month vlogs. <laughs> so I thought it would be appropriate to say that usually in the past uh, I have, I had noticed that a week before I was going to get my period I would have a little bit of a breakout like in one area or other of my face and lately that has stopped like I don't have anything on my face <laughs> and it's nice like it's not like a big breakout or anything it's just like a pimple or two not even a pimple it's like a bump or two here or there and it feels so nice to like I, I usually that's how I can tell that it's coming and this time I had no idea when it was coming because nothing showed up on my face so definitely glad I know that it is because of my diet um, because that's the only thing that there could be um, that's why I cleared my skin that's how I cleared my skin if you guys want a video on that comment below because changing my diet definitely helped me reap the benefits for my skin so yay <laughs> look at this cool wall it's like wooden and it's really cute. I like walking around because you can always find like all of these different things. There is so much eye candy out today. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's all. I think it's open you guys. I'm going to eat a burrito today. Okay, don't get too excited because the outside could be open and the inside could be closed. Yes, yes. Tortillas. 
Here's my list. And I found the salsa. And they have hot sauce here. I'm not sure how hot their hot sauce is, so I'm gonna experiment. Here's some sriracha. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried sriracha, so maybe I'll buy it and taste it. Let's, let's see. This one is so good. Here's the can section. I found corn, which wasn't on my list, but I think I'm gonna get some. I found the beans. These have ham sauce, so I'm gonna get these maybe with the tomato sauce. I'm gonna check if they have any other beans because I would like some dried or some black beans. So this is my basket, I got some mushrooms, and the lady told me these are the only beans they have. I think I'm going to try and mash the beans and see if I can make like a mashed bean with them. So let's check out and then... I wish I was recording just now. Um, I'm at this little place and I found this treadmill thing for only 40000 so I might get it, I'm not sure. But I came here for a lamp and I just met the owner and he was like, oh, Africa? <laughs> yeah, so I am going to see about a lamp and then maybe possibly this treadmill. But it's getting warmer, so I can go outside now. This would have been nice for the winter, but We'll see. Okay, I didn't buy the lamp or the treadmill. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Charlie. Uh, I told them that if I changed my mind, I would come back. But it would be really nice to have a treadmill in my place. I think it's only for walking. Uh, yeah, so... Huh. Go home and cook. Okay, so here are my groceries that I got. The store that I was at was Lotte Mart and everything all together total was 29,000 won um, for everything that you see here. I on the way home found some green onions at the same place I bought this on the street. This was 2,000 won, 1,000 won, 1,000 won and then I have all of these things from the store. I won't go over the prices but you should know that the most expensive thing was this sriracha and it was 9,000 won, 9,080 I think. So yeah, that was like the bulk of my money. Uh, so let's start cooking. Oh, and here's my banana smoothie which will hold me over until everything is done. So yay. So I'm going to preheat my oven. Thank you, Megan, for the oven. I am loving it already. And gonna chop up these potatoes and get to cooking just very simple nothing spectacular or crazy amazing or anything like that just get them kind of small not too big so about that size I absolutely love green onions and I think my mom is the one who got me into green onions she 
she cooks with green onions for her tacos, her burritos, enchiladas. Like, she loves green onions, so I think I'm, I follow after her with the onions. Am I making you guys nervous with this knife? <laughs> yeah. So I just put a little bit of oil in my pan and I'm going to saute a little bit or cook <laughs> pretty much my mushrooms and a little bit of the green onions and I'm gonna do that. Uh, actually I'm gonna throw in all the green onions. listening to Doreen Virtue. She does these daily cards, so. Or weekly cards. I'm going to add the can of corn. I just sl slightly rinsed it, well actually a lot, like three times, just to get some of the liquid stuff that was, it was soaking in off of it. And I used to have this best friend in, actually growing up, un until high school, or through high school kind of still. Um, she would eat corn straight out of the can, and I was like, that is so nasty. And <laughs> I thought it was nasty. And when I moved to Mexico, she was Mexican. When I moved to Mexico, I tried it, and I was like, oh my gosh. This whole time, this is what I've been missing. Corn from the can tastes so good. I just realized I don't have a can opener for my beans, so I'm going to have to go on a quick run to buy one. We got the, I'm going to smash my beans with this, or mash, and I got a can opener. You know I want to. Two, three, four, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Rumba. Woo! Dance party in my house. Ponte a jugar. <laughs> is it bad that I'm just uh, YouTubing how to use a can opener? I'm looking it up right now. Not Googling, I'm YouTubing it. <laughs> this is the current state of my can. So, yeah, I need a tutorial. <laughs> that could be a bad thing, but actually it's a good thing because obviously I don't use cans very often. I have to go out and buy a can opener. And I don't know how to use a can can opener. Yay! Okay, got through. Let's see. Oh, I'm doing it. Okay, there we go. Okay, I gotta do one more. One more time. or anything, but there you go, I did it. I'm rinsing the can of beans. So I'm just putting basil. <laughs> I know that kind of sounds weird. I'm going to season this with basil and then mash them. So let's go. Mash, mash. So 
So I'm going to heat up my tortilla and unfortunately with one burner you have to cook everything separately. But I have here uh, my potatoes. I have my, uh, what do you call it, uh, corn and mushroom mix with my sriracha flavored rice. I'm gonna flip that over. And I just need to heat up my beans, which I already mashed, and then I'm good to go. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I've been sitting on my yoga mat. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, where's my spoon? I'm going to, first I'll do some beans. Get them on my tortilla. I'm not going to put too many ingredients inside because this is actually not a huge tortilla. It's just kind of like a medium sized one. Then I'm going to add my ingredients. Some rice. Corn and mushrooms with green onions. And some potatoes. I cooked the potatoes without any seasoning. Just baked them like that. I'll add some salsa. <laughs> it's kind of hard. I got salsa on the floor now. Let's see. And I'm going to add some sriracha. Oops. <laughs> Whoa, that's squirting out wrong. Ooh. Maybe I have it open wrong. Okay, there we go. Now let's attempt to wrap it because it's really not a big tortilla. So this is probably just going to be like a, a um, just a wrap. <laughs> I can never make burritos because they're not big. The tortillas are not big. But I'll do that and there you go my tortilla my burrito attempts to show you guys the insides it is like that okay let's take a bite mmm pretty good. The sriracha is definitely a good addition. Mm. Really good. Can you guys see it okay? There you go. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good. This is number three. Let's take a look at that deliciousness. Yes. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. I'm becoming a professional burrito wrapper. Look at that beauty right there.
Okay, time to eat. <laughs>